subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hi everyone, I am getting ready to go for a brunch party and uh, I'm going to show you how I do my makeup. This is my go-to look. This is what I usually do when I'm, you know, going out but it's not an event because for events I usually have makeup artists help me out. But um, when I'm getting ready and I know a lot of people are going to be there and I want to look pretty, this is what I do. Um, so first I'm going to... You know, this is my dream. I've always wanted to do like a makeup tutorial. So even when I'd be in my room doing my makeup as a kid, I'd pretend that I'm doing a makeup tutorial. And even when I'd be cooking in kitchens, because I used to be obsessed with Nigella Lawson's uh, cooking show. So I'd always be like, and now I'm going to use a dollop of cream. Um, so yeah, sorry for digressing, but now I'm going to start. So I've got my hair out of my face and I'm wearing a white dress. So I'm going to keep the look a little peachy. There's nothing on my face right now, so I'm going to start with the Nykaa concealer and I'm going to use the yellow corrector because I was told by someone that I have a yellow undertone. So I'm just going to correct a little bit on my eyes. Just very little because I hate, I hate makeup when you can tell that you're wearing it. So I feel like less is always more with makeup and um, I'm going to use the Sculpting and Hydrating Foundation in Pure Ivory uh, but I'm going to use it as a concealer because I don't actually use foundation, I don't like to. I feel like it. if you don't need it, it can make your skin look chalky. So I've mixed shade 1 and shade 2 and I'm just going to mix it together. And it's super smooth and creamy, which I love. And I'm gonna dab a little bit under my eyes. And now I need to wipe the rest off my hand. I really like how natural this looks on your skin because it's so thin and it leaves this really hydrating, glowy texture, which makes it look really natural, which I love. So now that I'm done with concealer, I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. My sister always makes fun of the way I do my eyebrows because I either barely ever do it or I overline it but she's like an expert on doing her eyebrows. So I'm done with my eyebrows now I'm going to go in with my eyes. I'm actually going to use the highlighter on my eyes but before that I'm going to shade and shadow a little bit. I'm going to go in with the brown. Using a brown shadow underneath just makes it look softer and bigger and rounder. Now I'm gonna go in to my crease in a windshield wiper motion. I heard this in another YouTube video and I've been wanting to say it ever since. Windshield wiper motion. I'm gonna go in with a Nykaa highlighter in the shade. Um, Moonshine 3. First, I'm gonna go in with the darker one. I'm gonna put it on my eyelids. I think dewy eyelids look really pretty. There, done. I'm gonna use the I am 24 7 kajal and I'm just gonna put it on my upper eyelid. I used to see my mom do her makeup and she could literally do her eye makeup in, in a moving car without looking into a mirror. And I've always been told that you need to know how to you need to know your face and you need to learn how to do your own makeup because no one knows your face the way you do. So I just watch her and learn. Now I'm gonna go in for a little bit of blush. And I'm gonna use Malibu Barbie. Okay, so you guys need to know that these are really pigmented. So go easy. Just dab off all the excess and give yourself a massage. Done. And then smile. 
I feel like blush can make you look fresh even when you're dying on the inside. अब मैं अपने चेहरे पे डालूंगी हाइलाइटर हाइलाइटर से आपका चेहरा चमकता है तो मैं यूज कर रही हूँ ब्रॉन्ज गोल्ड एंड ब्लश गोल्ड मून शाइन थ्री जो कि मैंने मेरे आंखों पर भी यूज किया था कलर इस्तेमाल करने जा रही हूँ अपने चेहरे पर माय ब्रीफ टू एवरी मेकअप आर्टिस्ट मुझे हाइलाइटर में डुबा दो हमेशा रेड कार्पेट पर हीरे की तरह लगना चाहिए चेहरा वही है मेरा गोल I think I've gone overboard with it, but it's okay because one life to live. It's on my nose because it makes it look sharp. Now I'm gonna go in with the with uh, my lip color. I'm using um, the lip stone I lip liner in Pillow Fight. I love the name. So there's this trend that I remember people um, in the 70s and 80s would do a lot of it that they. Line with a darker color and then go in on the inside with a lighter color, and I feel like that makes your lips look plumpier. So I am going to do that. Now that I've lined, I'm going to mix 10,000 gazillion colors. I'm mixing pink on fleek with lacy luck, spice, spice, baby. I'm gonna mix it and just dab it on my lip. I really like dabbing my lipstick on because I feel when I apply it straight, it looks too much and I look kind of like a drag queen. I'm good to go, so I'm gonna change and I will show you all my final look. So now I'm basically ready. I've changed into my outfit. I'm gonna put my earrings on. I think open was better or tied. I think open. Done, and I'm ready. That's my look, uh, my brunch look. It was easy. I don't think I took more than 10 minutes to finish my look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had fun.